Looks what a mild day today after that cold, cold weekend. Temperatures still in the 70s across most of the valley. The exceptions of the coast, 66 in Port Isabel right now. Brownsville checking in a little bit warmer at 68, but the rest of the valley again, low 70s after topping out in the 80s in many places this afternoon. Now, future track says tonight we stay in the 60s pretty much all night long. Some places drop into the upper 50s and then tomorrow by 1 o'clock in the afternoon, we're pushing 80 and by 3 o'clock we're above 80 in many locations, so we warm back up. You go into tomorrow night, then get all that cool mid 60s for lows and Wednesday highs back in the 80s again. Do the same thing on Thursday, start in the upper 60s and low 70s and by afternoon right back up into the 80s. So some warm temperatures ahead. The norm for this time of year is 70. We'll be well above that at 82, 84 and 84. So our short lived cool down is officially behind us. Here's like a future track looking for clouds, looking for rain, looking for anything. Hints a little moisture along the coast, but no rain. I think tomorrow we're just mostly sunny again with a pretty good breeze coming up out of the south. You will notice a breeze over the course of the next few days. You might even go downright windy for the middle part of the week, but still plenty of sunshine and warm temperatures back in the 80s. Notice a few clouds along the coast. By the time we get to Thursday, we could start to see some signs of patchy fog along the coast once again, as we tend to see when the moisture comes back in. But we're dry, no rainfall, not through at least Thursday and probably not through at least Saturday with a slight possibility showing up late on Sunday as a cool front pushes in. Not much going on in South Texas today. The southerly wind taking some showers offshore and pushing them northward, but long before they reach land, they fade away. Some clouds up in the panhandle, but most of the state enjoying a quiet day, and it's going to stay that way for the most part. Another front comes into the state by tomorrow. It fades way to the north of the valley, so we stay breezy and warm. Another front comes into the map on uh, Thursday. We're still breezy and warm. That front comes together with another system coming off the west coast that will eventually push a front into the valley late Sunday into early Monday. And with that, the chance for a couple of showers and a little bit of a cool down, but it's a Pacific air mass in nature, so not dramatically colder like what we saw over the weekend. Look how the state has rebounded. After being below zero in the panhandle just a few days ago, they topped out in the 70s all the way up to Amarillo today, back to 65 now. 68 in Austin, 69 in San Antonio, Laredo checks in at 68 degrees. If you're headed to the beach tomorrow morning, temperatures start very mild, about 72 early. A southerly breeze, about 20, 25 miles an hour much of the day, so pretty windy day. Afternoon temperatures in the 70s and by evening back to 69 degrees. UV index is moderate. Rip current risk is the same. Here's a look at the tides. There are two. The lows at 642 in the morning, high at 411 in the afternoon. Seas about 5 to 7 feet. The bay is rather choppy still. So 60 tonight for your low. Mainly clear, not nearly as cool as it was over the weekend. And then tomorrow back up to 82. Mainly sunny, a breezy and warmer day. Wind out of the southeast at 12 to 25. So we go 82, 84, 84. We hold in the mid 80s through Sunday, late Sunday into Monday. The next front comes in. It could trigger a few showers uh, about a 12 hour period from Sunday evening into Monday morning. And we stay mainly cloudy and a little bit cooler for the first part of next week. That is your updated first one five forecast.